back to the, the Dickinson, Dickinson Adventures. Adventures. I'm Robbie. And I'm Tay. And we back, baby. God dog, we back. Yes. <laughs> It is a new year, 2023. We are so excited to still be here. Nothing happened to us, y'all. We didn't get ate up by something in the woods. Nobody yeah. ran us off the map. Well, <laughs> somebody did run us off of. We're going to cover that at the end. At the end. At the end. Okay. Okay, today, y'all, we wanted to do a video on a trip that we took. Mm -hmm. Yes, y'all know Dickinson Adventures. We went on an adventure for our 10-year anniversary. 10-year what anniversary? Me and Robbie have been together for 10 years. Well, we've been married for 10 years. We've been together for 13 years. Mm -hmm. Working on this year. It'll be 11 years. Yep, it's been that long, y'all. Y'all crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to celebrate in a big way. So yeah. we decided to try the Margaritaville at Sea Cruise. If you didn't know, me and Robbie are in Florida. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to do something that was kind of close, but go somewhere. So if you don't know, the Margaritaville at Sea Cruise goes from Palm Beach to the Bahamas. It goes to Freeport, Bahamas. Mm -hmm. So we just wanted to try it out. It was a quick two-day cruise. We actually been on that one before, but it was called something different. Bahama Paradise? Paradise. Something like that. <laughs> and that was actually our first cruise together. Yeah. I've never been on a cruise. Have you been nope, on a cruise? No, that was like that? a five year, three year late anniversary cruise. We yeah, like it was two a, years after Yeah, it was like two years after we got married. Mm -hmm. We went on a um, honeymoon. Yeah. Bahama Paradise. Y'all know we worked really hard, so yep. yeah. <laughs> we didn't go on our little honeymoon moon until like yeah, two, three years yeah. later. Yeah. And when we went, it was really nice. Um, on the Bahama Paradise, it was only what ninety nine dollars even way back then. Yeah. Um, for you to get on the ship. Uh, this time it was about the same price. Yeah. Yeah, it was about the same price. We paid one ninety eight. Um, for both of us, if I'm not mistaken. Great. <laughs> but with all the taxes and everything, y'all know it almost came with about four hundred dollars, like three fifty. <laughs> yeah, and then you have the um, the fuel taxes and all of that stuff came later. The fuel tax and your uh, gratuity that comes later. So we'll just cover the price on that. Go ahead and cover it now. The price was fourteen dollars a day. Mm -hmm. Was it? for gas mm -hmm. and gratuities. And depending on where you're going or how you're going, I think it could have been free, but they had to get back to us, so it was $14. Do not bank on that thing being free. Yeah. Go ahead and add the extra $15 a day for that. Yeah. Um, don't even bank on it. Yeah. We also did not put a credit card or debit card on file. We did the $100 cash. cash. Um, we just thought that was the best way to go, safest way to go, keep us on a budget. We wouldn't be surprised with any extra fees. And no. that worked out for us. Yeah. It worked out really good. Definitely did. <laughs> and then, you, like she said, you don't have to worry about coming home and having two or three hundred dollars on your credit card that you overspent uh oh you can't get off the ship oh, you can't get off the ship your car got declined now you work for paradise cruises Woo. uh margaritaville at sea whichever it is right now <laughs> you're working on the cruise ship that's what's going on you're traveling now you get to travel the world that's yes. what you get to do and i'm glad he brought that up so the changes between when it was bahama paradise and margaritaville at sea mm -hmm. what would you say some of the changes you noticed um the entertainment i don't think we mm. went to the entertainment last time we still didn't go to a lot this time but they didn't have a comedy show then mm -hmm. and they had one this time, they had one this time. oh and the comedian was from jacksonville mm -hmm. where we from yes oh. um, the comedian was a train at the time and he yeah. was good yeah. i know we only went to the adult show because yeah. it was just being robbie so we didn't see a need to go to the family show or to go to two com comedy shows back to back like yeah <laughs> but they said both shows were totally different and yeah now that we seen the second show we wish we would have went to both of them yeah because he was funny yeah. like and i'm not just saying that because we from the same place like no he was really yeah funny. he was really funny he did a thing <laughs> 
Yeah, so some of the things I noticed was they added, of course, a bunch of bright colors for yeah. the Margaritaville brand. Yeah. Um, so it's a lot of like oranges, greens, blues. It makes you feel like you're ready to party. Yeah, they yeah. made the cafeteria smaller. The area where you the eat at. Where yeah, you it didn't seem like smaller. it was smaller. Maybe they changed the setup, the setup of, of it. it yeah. yeah. But it wasn't bad. It just looked smaller than the first time we went. Mm -hmm. And and I and all cruise ships, I hate that. You can't you can't get to where you want to go by just going <laughs> by just going straight. Yes. <laughs> Why do I have to go up? So the layout. Left, down, back this way, <laughs> then up, then back this way. You got to do a whole little boop to get over here. Yeah, I know. it was a little confusing trying to go from level to level and get down to the dining room and go up to the deck where the, uh, the pool was. Mm -hmm. I would say another big thing that I noticed from um, Bahama Paradise and then now with Margaritaville at sea was the party. Mm -hmm. the, um, the parties at night when it was the Bahama Paradise were actually out on the deck. Out on the deck. And the DJ was out on the deck. Out on the deck. Yeah, and it was really nice. Like we were cruising and had the party, but now with it being Margaritaville at sea, they're doing the parties inside. Yeah. Inside uh, the area in the front of the ship. And I don't mean to cut her real quick, but that noise you keep hearing running back and forth is our new dog. She has a lot of energy. Her name is Baby. Yeah, we'll let y'all see, we'll see her soon. And we'll let you see her soon. She's just running all over the place. But yeah, that, that really kind of kind of made the party a little bit less exciting because you weren't out in the sun, let the wind blow on you, were not out in the air. You know what I'm saying? It was almost just like you were at a regular party. Like, we're out at sea. Let us see the water. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let us experience the sea and party at the same time well really another issue with it being on the inside is we were seasick <laughs> that very first night um once the boats i'm sorry the ship started moving i got seasick by the time it was time for dinner um yeah i just had to run down to get services and get some motion sickness medicine which is free y'all if you go down to the desk they'll give it to you no problem they'll give you a few packs to last you for the whole cruise yeah. uh that was a lifesaver yeah yeah because without that i would not have made it i was doing really bad <laughs> yeah yeah but dining that first night uh we ate in the fins i think it was fins we did not go to the specialty dining at yeah. all this time because we did all that our first time yeah. So this time we just wanted to see what the regular, you know, main dining experience was like. And it was actually pretty good. I had the ginger salmon and it was really good on the first night. Guys, little tip. The restaurants usually have the same things, just cooked a little different. So <laughs> <laughs> don't think you're like missing something if you don't go to the big fancy restaurant. And a special extra little tip that if you go to somewhere like Finn's that isn't the regular like buffet you can get more than one serving yes you can order more than one entree one more than guy one dessert yeah. yeah whatever you want to order one guy um did it um that was sitting right beside us mm -hmm. the only thing that's weird about it they're not gonna like put it on one plate for you they're gonna bring it. you bring it out <laughs> they're gonna bring you out plate. on however many plates or whatever you ask for they're gonna bring it all out but you can um get you know if you just want to try one or two things you can try more than one thing mm -hmm. yeah anything else about the food oh we did um try the conch fritters <coughs> those were not included we got those at the five o'clock somewhere bar yeah. and they were good. yeah they were good they were actually really good yeah. um because we did not leave off the boat i'm sorry ship <laughs> we didn't really leave off the ship once we got to the bahamas because we've already been to freeport um, and I think we kind of really seen everything that time and we really don't snorkel or dive anymore for yeah. reasons we're not going to bring up on this video. <laughs> <laughs> Another anniversary trip that yeah. kind of went kind of haywire. Yeah. So we're not going to bring that up, but <laughs> yeah. so we just uh, left off the ship. Well, hold on, wait. Before we left off the ship, 
Yeah. We went into the chapel and yeah. renewed our vows, just me and Robbie. Yeah. Yes. And people so, were trying to peek in and try to listen to what we were doing. Because let me tell you, people are drinking and partying. Nobody's in the chapel. Nope. Nobody's watching the chapel. Nope. Nobody's worried about it. Nope. So we just went into the chapel. Close we made sure of, we downloaded a video from YouTube before yeah. we even went on uh, of a pastor renewing vows. Mm -hmm. So we downloaded so we made sure that we didn't need service. Uh, we went in, we played the video, we renewed our vows, we recorded it. You could see a little piece of it. I think it. she cried. I'll try to put that part on there. <laughs> this time, I cried the first time. <laughs> but that's all right. But anyway, after we renewed our vows, we walked right off the ship, and there was a restaurant over there with a beach by it. Um, we went over there, and we took pictures. We took some really pretty pictures you can see right now. Yeah. <laughs> there, there, there. Yes, they were so beautiful. Yeah. And um yeah. I would say if you do go over to that beach, please be careful. Um with the beach that's right there. Sharp rocks. Yeah. Not only sharp rocks, sharp there's sharks. shark feedings. <laughs> Shark feedings are held at the restaurant at nighttime. Yeah. If you go into Margaritaville at sea and you're not staying overnight in the Bahamas, you wouldn't be able to experience that because they do it in the evening. Or maybe you could go in and ask them. <laughs> and another thing that's a re-tip for something else, when you're doing your excursions, that's what they call it, right? Excursions. Excursions. <laughs> Make sure you pay attention to the times. Mm -hmm. Make sure you pay attention to the attire. Make sure you pay attention <laughs> to how inebriated you can be while these things are going on, okay? Because, like, if you go for, I think, axe throwing or paintballing, you cannot be drunk and you cannot have on flip-flops or something like that. Mm. And you'll get out the ship with your cute flip-flops on and drunk and, sh and get drunk all day and go and have to sit down and you already paid for it. Or you get there and it's a certain time that it's supposed to be on mm -hmm. and the ship leaves by like five four. or six. You gotta be back by four, I believe. Yeah, yeah. and then the paintball goes on at like 4.30 or 5. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna make one or the other. You're gonna be there or you're gonna be there. So, you know, just pick one and make sure you pay attention to the timing. But they're always jet skiing and um, shopping tours. They had a garden yeah. tour. You can go to the hotel and just lounge mm -hmm. at the hotel. They have like a day thing for the a hotel. Day pass. Exactly. You can drink and go to their little pool. Yeah. yeah, they got a lot of nice things to do out there um, in Freeport. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm not gonna lie to. It has a really industrial look. <laughs> That's I just wanted to put that in there. <laughs> right there and we're done <laughs> yep yep <laughs> anything else about the trip you want to talk about we talked about food we talked about our excursions um <sighs> the drink packages we yes. did not talk about the drink packages mm -hmm. this time we did not get one <laughs> nope, we didn't do any drink packages nope. uh you know as we do not drink like that nope. um so we did buy like a drink or two though because we're on the cruise so it's definitely cheaper to just buy the drink yes, <laughs> yes. but they will pressure you to get the drink package just and you. when you buy the drink they'll give you a top you can ask for top shelf yes always ask for top shelf everything and if, you, top shelf. and if you ask for top shelf with the ticket they're gonna charge you extra money for that right uh-huh yes so yeah i believe i enjoyed the room <laughs> i like the room we yes we we'll both the rooms i feel like the bed was really comfortable mm -hmm. <laughs> I love the bed, yeah. and uh, I wanted to go to sleep a lot, and yeah. Robbie doesn't like to go to sleep a lot, nope. so we were kind of going back and forth with sleep, party, sleep, yeah. eat. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm the type of person where we go out of town to visit my family and go out of town for just a few days, so we know when we go out of town, it's, you're not going to sleep. Yeah, you got to stay up late, yeah. wake up early. Yeah. But I don't like to be around big crowds, y'all, so yeah. I don't like to party like that. Yeah. Once there's too many people, I'm like, oh, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I like to be around big crowds, but in the back so I can get out <laughs> if anything happens crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. 
But overall, I would say Margaritaville at sea was all right. It was good. I think it would be perfect for like first time cruisers, people who live in Florida who just want to go out for a weekend. Yeah. Definitely perfect for that. Yeah, and if you, um, like she said, just want to relax, mm -hmm. um, lay back, they have a lot of little lazy areas where you can sit back and um, get on these big comfy couches and just lay down yeah. and drink and listen to the music all day. If you want to do that all day, mm -hmm. you can do that. They have just adult areas where you don't have to worry about kids being in there, but they sneak in. They know, <laughs> they know how to get in there. <laughs> um, they have kid areas for the kids, so you know, you can be an adult and sign them in somewhere and let them stay in there for the whole time if you want to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And also I want to say the service was amazing, y'all. The service was great. Um, we were taking pictures, so we wanted to use like ironing service. Mm -hmm. They did it like immediately. Yeah, it was As wasn't soon okay. as we put it in, like it was right back at our room. Yeah. So I do want to also say that service was great. And that ship was clean as It was clean. <laughs> I don't know about any other cruise ship. And the first time we went, they they clean this but this time it was it was definitely on point <laughs> they clean like if you press the button they was <laughs> as soon as you got done they, they, they wipe that off for you make sure you ain't messing up you tripping you about to mess up this whole service and they shut down areas of uh, like once a day to clean them out and there's sorry, baby <laughs> the top of her head Yep. I'm so sorry, you guys. She's a rescue. Yes, like most of our dogs. I believe the only dogs that we dogs that we paid for were our Great Pyrenees. Every other dog was either <laughs> gifted to us or winded up on our land. Oh, the two baby chickens fighting. Okay, we back to the store. <laughs> yep. <laughs> ship was really clean. Clean. The service was great. What was clean? The ship. Whoa. Was really clean. <laughs> And the service was great, guys. Yes, yes. And um, like I said, I would definitely recommend it if you're already in the area. Yes. Now, price-wise, all together, how much would you say we paid? About five to six hundred dollars. I would say somewhere in between there. And we actually got money back yes. before we got off the ship because we put the cash on the card. Yeah. <laughs> How much money we got back? That was like 40, 40, 45 yeah. dollars. Gas for the <laughs> gas for the trip on back to the house, baby. Mm. Yeah, so it wasn't too bad. Yeah. But from what I'm hearing, you can actually get on other cruises uh for that same amount. So I like, should look at our computer. Carnival. Like, <laughs> like that's why because I was I was under the impression that Margaritaville at Sea was cheaper than any other cruise line. Mm. That is why I'm saying it like that. Okay. Sir. Yeah, so most of them are about the same price. But now I'm finding out after the trip and everything, like, we could have went on Carnival, which we've never been on Carnival. So we're hoping to either go on Carnival or we're going to try MSC, the Meraviglia. I hope I'm saying it right. Meraviglia. Yeah. That's what they said. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to try one of those and make sure that we highlight our whole trip um, because my birthday is coming up yeah. and also our daughter's birthday is coming up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, next month. So we're definitely going to party. We're going to do it big for the birthdays. Ooh, Rob is tired, birthday. so I guess it's definitely time to go. No, it's not. That was just a, <laughs> that was excited yawn. An excited yawn. Okay, before we go, we are going to cover what we talked about lightly brushed over in the beginning. Brush my teeth. Not that. Okay. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, you all, we are sitting down, and that's because of a reason. <laughs> um, right after our 10-year anniversary trip, we were coming to the land to feed our animals, and we got in a car accident. <laughs> Um, somebody out here in the country hit us, T-boned us. So we have been out of commission. Um, I have five herniated discs. Robbie has three and a torn meniscus in his knee. So we're having to rethink everything, um, rethink how we're going to work, rethink how we're going to work on our land, and also how we're going to get it open because 
now we actually have to get our land open and have to start putting those experiences online so you all if you have any help support supplies anything that you can <laughs> you know ways you can turn us to to get us in the right direction so we don't go left then <laughs> We would definitely reach out it. yes reach out to us at yeah. dickinson adventures mm -hmm. at gmail.com mm -hmm. you can reach us there send us an email mm -hmm. and so we can connect because we want to learn from other farmers and people who have their homesteads open for agritourism yeah. we already have a mentor in south carolina we want to build a network yeah. where we can all come together and offer these experiences and let other people know about the other farmers experiences when they come to our land mm -hmm. um so that's the big idea and we definitely got to push forward on it now this year so that's why you see us here we had to take a little break um legal things that we can't talk about yeah. but <laughs> yeah we but we're back. Yeah. We're back. A little bit. We're back. A little bit. We're not back a little bit. We're back a lot. We're back, baby. <laughs> we back, baby. Okay. So we are on a schedule now. So look forward to be hearing from us on a weekly basis. Okay. Maybe two times. I'll never get you to. Don't listen to Robbie. Don't listen to that fool. <laughs> I'll be <laughs> seeing him by myself in front of him. Welcome back, y'all. It's Tay. <laughs> it comes to the other side. The rubber. <laughs> But all right, you all, we appreciate you all sticking with us mm -hmm. for all of this time. We mm -hmm. especially appreciate our day ones who's been following us since we were going back to Africa. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> but we thank you all so much. I want to shout out a few of the people that have been seeing us in Duval. I've actually had somebody say, hey, you. Yes. Oh, that ugly people can remember my face. Yes. <laughs> That's how you know when you're ugly, when people remember exactly yes, what you look like. Yeah, he was out in Jacksonville. Yep. Somebody stopped and was like, hey, I watch your YouTube channel. Yep. So wow. that was really good. That's great. And that's motivation for us to yep. get back out here and yep. share what we're doing um, and just keep pushing. Yep. All right? All right. So we hope that you stick around for another episode of The, the Dickinson, Dickinson Adventures. Peace out, baby. <laughs>